Hi guys, it's Nancy, and yes, I know you don't want to hear it, but it's time to start making your holiday cards. Here I have the July Glimmer of the Month and 3D Embossing Folder of the Month, so we're going to get right to work. Here is the beautiful 3D Embossing Folder, and then inside here I have the beautiful frame and sentiment that are going to come with this beautiful polished brass foil. I've cut a piece off. They are in my Glimmer. We're going to put the pretty side of the foil down, and I'm going to use, I got to keep going with this, you guys, the Glimmer Acetate. It is designed for foiling, and yes, there is going to be a little bit of static there, so we'll figure out how to get this down on there. There we go. I'm going to make sure nothing's curled up, and I can kind of see through here. I believe I have that centered pretty well. Okay, so we're going to give that the 60-second timer countdown. While that is doing that, you can see there is a die to cut out the frame, the sentiment, which says Merry Christmas, and there is a smaller sentiment here that you can foil and die cut, and it says May all your days be merry and bright. And we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to move all those aside. In the meantime, I'm going to grab my platinum and I'm going to emboss this red Spellbinders cardstock. I am going to give it a quick spritz of water just to help soften those fibers. We're going to put that in our 3D embossing folder. And again, the embossing folder of the month, the glimmer of the month, these are limited editions. So um, if you're signed up, you'll get it. And if you're not signed up, you can sign up after the 6th and get it. And then um, you will get one every month until you cancel. You can cancel at any time. But once it is sold out and the members will get it first, um, you will not be able to get it. If there are any leftovers, those will be put for sale in the um, sale or clearance category over at Spellbinders, um, but it's usually just the dies. You do not get the foil with that. Okay, so let's see how beautiful this looks. Stunning. And remember, you can rub this over with ink. You can rub over it with um, lunar paste, solar paste, any of those will look great. We're going to leave it like that and we're going to bring in our glimmer is done. And you get all of these pieces to the glimmer and the dies and the roll of foil anytime you do the glimmer of the month. There's also small die of the month, large die of the month, card kit of the month, stamp of the month, stamp and die of the month. And wow, this just foiled beautifully. I always get so giddy when I can reveal and show that how stunning that is. And I don't need to do any cleanup. That is perfect. And I'm just going to layer this right over. I know it's simple, but doesn't that pack a punch? I don't need to add anything else. I may foil and cut out the interior sentiment here. Let's do that. And we can... Um, Foil that, die cut it, and put it on the inside. I believe I have a scrap piece of foil over here I can use. Plug that in, let it heat up. Okay, and now we have to think about, okay, how are we going to attach this? Well, 
You can use gl glue. These are both cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. Um, you can certainly use glue. You can use brads. And I'm going to use a little bit of everything here. I think what I'm going to do is, first of all, glue this panel. Actually, yes, we're going to use glue. And then the back of here, anywhere there's kind of solid, this glue does dry clear, so you're not going to see a lot of it. But that's what's fun about using um, this clear acetate is people are always like, how did you do that, right? What I'm also going to do is a little camouflage here. You know, we have Spellbinders gems. We have these new, brand new dimensional dots. And these are all adhesive. We have these pearls, kind of like the green. And then of course we have sequins. All right, so I'm gonna use these Fashion Spruce pearls. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. Actually, I might add glue dots right in the corners there. Now obviously this is textured. It is a 3D embossing folder so we don't want to press down and lose any of that. But what we're going to do here is put heavy stamping block on top. And I'm just going to give that a few moments to adhere. Okay, and while we're doing that, let me check on my sentiment over here. Okay, and we're going to grab the coordinating die and cut that out. May all your days be merry and bright. I have a little overfoiling, but that's okay. I will brush that off in a second. It's foil flaking. But I'm gonna die cut it before I do that.
Okay. And might have to let this sit a little while longer. But what I will do is once this is dry, and it's starting to get there, I'm gonna let that sit a little longer, is I will use some of these green pearls to just kind of accent it, but it will also cover up if there's any glue that's showing. And then I will glue this sentiment to the inside. But yeah, you guys, if you haven't started, the month of July is going to be a lot of holiday themed stamps, dies, better press, hot foiling plates. So keep an eye out um, if you need some inspiration or wanna get started. I find that if I just do you know, a couple cards a week, then by the time November rolls around, and that's not far away, I will have my holiday cards ready to go. So don't waste until, wait until the last moment. I really do like this um, glimmer set. Again, you get the two sentiments, you get the dies that cut out both sentiments, you get the frame, and then you get the die which cuts out the center of the frame, and you get that polished brass foil. Very, very pretty. Let's put my, well, I don't want to put the beads on there yet, but let me give you guys a close-up. That's what it's going to look like, and then we will put the pearls on. And you can see we have that beautiful foiling and 3D embossing folder together, and then our sentiment is on the inside. So I'm just gonna let this glue dry, and then I will come back later and add the pearls. Okay guys, we're pretty much dry here, and you can see I've added those fashion spruce pearls on there and i think that really looks good the glue will dry back a little bit more and it will be clear but that is using the july 2023 glimmer of the month and again it comes with the roll of polished brass foil and you get the um Pop foil plates and the dies. I just added them to some magnetic sheets for my own storage. We use the 3D embossing folder of the month. You can see, again, it's a nice large 3D embossing folder. Very whimsical holiday themed here. And I brought in the Spellbinders Fashion Brew Self-Adhesive Embellishments, which again are just like self-adhesive pearls. And we foiled on the Spellbinders Glimmer Specialty Clear Film Seats. If you have not tried this, I definitely recommend it. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up before you leave. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye, guys.